Guys, something very interesting happened in Oba, Anambra State, Nigeria, among native doctors. Like um, some people will call them witch doctors, spiritualists. So how did it happen? It happened a few days ago on the 31st to 1st of the year, uh, 2023. I think the 1st of January, 31st, 1st, something like that. A very powerful native doctor in Oba. I think Oba is the same town that Obi Kubana came from. This native doctor has become so rich from doing charms for people. People pay him to do charms. So he probably got a lot of money from that. So this native doctor has built three hotels. So he commissioned two. So to commission the, the two, at least one of them, he invited people on the 31st night of 2022. So they were going to do the crossover night service there. As part of the hype, he got a ram and uh, put it on top of a desk and said that any other native doctor that is powerful enough to untie that ram can take it home. And then he's gonna reward that other native doctor with five million naira. Five million naira is somewhere around um, $8,000-ish. Usually, if you know Igbo culture, this is something that we all have heard growing up, that there are powerful Igbo native doctors two, 300 years ago that when they call a gathering of other native doctors, they tie a ram and no native doctor will be strong enough to go and untie it because they use a charm to suspend the ram there. This particular native doctor decided to try it now. So when the whole thing started, no native doctor went. I don't know whether some tried or not. I don't know. But the video we're seeing is a young native doctor later turned out to be actually an apprentice of some other native doctor. His master sent him. He went there, did his juju thing, did his juju thing touched the ram and then tried to take it. Basically, he undid the charm that they used to hold the ram. So he tried to take the ram since he has undone the charm. Before you know it, people gathered this guy and started beating him. Why are you beating the guy? You put a challenge, a young man went and overcame the challenge and tried to take the ram. They started beating him physically. Even in the midst of the beating, the young man still went forward to still take the ram again. More beating. It became a problem. They prevented the young man from physically taking the round. But obviously from the video, you can see that he has actually removed the charm in quote. Follow me, I'm going to somewhere. So at the end of the day, it became a big debate among native doctors, among Igbos and everything. Did the man, the young man actually undid the charm? And was he treated fairly? The master of the young man that sent him, his mentor, now came out and said, hey, I'm the one that sent this young man to go and don't do it because on that day probably he was not um, free to go and the young man went and uh, took uh, took down the ram and they started beating him why are they beating him what of the five million naira reward by some accounts i've not seen the video the main native doctor that actually tied the ram uh, said that um, he meant that the person is supposed to invoke the ram to come down and not to physically take it down now i've not seen the video where he said it but people say that that's the, his defense for having the guy beaten up but in the challenge he put out for the video he did not say invoke he said you have to go and untie the ram and that everybody knows that that's the tradition if there's a ram tied you have to go and untie it there's nothing like invocation if it's going to be invocation that means the person putting it there has to invoke it first to put the <laughs> use invocation to put the ram on top of the desk <laughs> you can use your spiritual power to pull, pull the suspend the ram defy gravity and put it there then and only then can you now challenge another native doctor to use another charm to um to to defy gravity and bring the ram down at the end of the day people are divided he's a legend real life living legend in fact he sit they should put his statue in the middle of his city where he's dragging ram they should mold him up where he's dragging they should mold that guy other native doctors around the world should should um, pay some homage and respect to that young apprentice. They should send him money, the ones that have money, for many reasons. Let me list the first. The first is that he's a great apprentice, somebody that was sent by his master on a mission of life and death. He went there with courage. If you see the way he bounced there, like a proper native doctor that was trained well, he pulled out the ram. Why are they beating him physically? Why don't they beat him spiritually? So that man deserves the five million. Let them send the five million that is due to you, that young man, to him. You send the five million, you bring him up to the stage, and then uh, give him the due respect. Give him the, the medal of honor. That guy is a, is a legend among native dogs. That apprentice, he just proved himself a great apprentice. They should give him medal. Medal of honor. Two star. Two star purple hat. He deserves it. Some people think, look, some people think being a great teacher is the same thing as being a great student. Being a great student requires a new, a different set of skills. A great teacher is one that is able to impart knowledge. 
A great student is one that is able to follow exactly what their master told them to do, word for word, until they become really good. When you sign up for my course on how to make money online, I tell people, don't try to do your own thing. Forget about creativity, innovation. Do exactly what I told you to do till you start seeing money. Once you start seeing money and you're now a master of your own, you start adding your own ideas and you can even make more money than me. People that are not good students, there is when they are learning that they're trying other things, then it distracts them from completing the syllabus. So, but this young man did exactly what his master told him. He a legend. He a le real life legend. They should send money to that guy, the one he won, and any other native doctor should send money to him so that other native doctor apprentices will learn that this is what you're supposed to do. Now, people think that native doctor and witch doctor is the same. That's one thing with African Christianity in general. Because they have taught us Christians that these traditional religions are evil. If, they, if the religions are evil, how did they preserve our forefathers? Do you know that our forefathers did not take any injections for any sickness? All the sickness they say is killing people. This if you don't take, you get polio, you get this, you get... They did not take nothing. How did they survive? In Europe respects, do you know that they don't bury Pope in the ground? They will put him in a glass and keep. Because it's their tradition. They don't bury their respectable dead. They will try and preserve that person for hundreds of years. Go to go to Vatican. You will see so many corpses. People that died 300 years ago. They don't want to bury the people. And in Africa, we have to respect our own. We have to have museums for this. That native doctor, they need to put his statue. When people are passing, they say, what the, they say this is the, the legend that took down a ram that was tied by this other legend. That's how you promote the religion. You don't go start beating. That's why that, that uh, Aqua native doctor should come out and clear it. You get what did some of these young native doctors, what they don't understand about the religion, the African traditional religion itself, is that some of the things they heard is just an allegory. When they tell you that a native doctor 400 years ago tied down a ram and nobody could be able to untie it, it's an allegory. It doesn't mean it happened physically like that. There's no ram in the world that you, can, you can't untie. You don't need charm to untie rams. If you tie any ram down, I will go and untie it. Any native doctor in the country can try that. I don't worry about transport. I will transport myself and my goons because I have to come with men. So that if, if violence starts, we'll create the violence. We'll help you to escalate the violence. Anything you want, we'll help you to grow it the way you will hear. But that ram, if you challenge me to untie a ram, I'll walk. I, I'm not a native doctor. I'll untie the ram. Before you say one, two, I've turned it to suya. Hired two aboki, they cut it into suya. Everybody will chop. The five million, I'll use it and do Saraka for everybody. <laughs> spread the money, spread, spread the money. If I understand that native doctor was trying to do hype by tying that ram, promote his religion. At the same time, if somebody legally or legitimately wants something, a competition, you have to reward the young man. Stop changing the rules after the guy has won. I respect a young native doctor, Lil, Lil Doc, that's what I call Lil Native Doctor. He's a legend. He's a real life, le with, his, with his military. Regalia, did you see the garment he's wearing? <laughs> Even the tailor that sold that cloth is a legend too. They should draw something for the tailor that sold the cloth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They should free little duck.